So, we know what happened. If you were keeping up with the Toronto Maple Leafs, you know that this morning there was two signings for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So the first signing was Cody CC, a one-year deal for $4.5 million. Uh, yeah. I don't like that deal at all. What this means is that the Maple Leafs are getting a player that is potentially going to play on the third line for $4.5 million a year, which is not great at all. I think this sets up beautifully for a nice trade for Cody CC. They were talking about earlier that Cody CC could be moved um, if he does get that $4.5 million from the Maple Leafs. So I'm thinking that this is going to set up nicely for a good trade for Cody CC. But if it doesn't, oh boy, we better hope that Cody CC is an all-star player next year. Because $4.5 million for a guy that's supposed to be on the third line, he better be the best third line player out there. And then the signing that I'm actually excited about is Alexander Kerfoot for a four-year deal of $3.5 million yearly. This is actually a really good deal for the Maple Leafs. They're going to get their third-line center back. I think Alexander Kerfoot is going to play as that third-line center. And he's not a bad choice. I mean, sure, Nazem Kadri was an unbelievable third-line center. But do you really need a good third-line center to win a Stanley Cup? Absolutely not. I think that Kerfoot will play that third-line center. Cody CC potentially will be traded because of that 4.5 million. You know, it could happen. I could definitely see the Leafs picking up a number four guy for Cody CC and maybe a sweetener. Whatever sweeteners the Leafs have left. I'm sure they have a bunch of players they have that they signed for 700K. They signed a bunch of players for 700K. So they have tons of sweeteners to give to plenty of teams out there. So where does it leave the Maple Leafs for next season? If you take a look at the graphic in front of you, you're going to see that John Tavares, Mitch Marner, and Zach Kyman are on the same line as usual. Austin Matthews with William Nylander and Andreas Janssen. I'm hoping that's really going to pan out. Alexander Kerfoot with Casper Kapan and Trevor Moore. That could potentially change. Jason Spezza, Nick Shore, and Nick Patan on the bottom four. And that's really going to, I guess, change throughout the season. There could be, you know, we could see Trevor Moore going down to the fourth line we could see Alexander Kerfoot maybe not being the fourth line third line center it could change Jason Spezza we don't know back to the graphic we have Morgan Riley with Tyson Berry unbelievable pairing Jake Muzzin for now with Cody Ceci uh, that could turn out to a, a blockbuster trade for Ceci and Travis Dermott with Ben Harper uh, because the Leafs did lose Kelly Rosen in that trade for Nazem Kadri and Tyson Berry so what this means for the Maple Leafs well I guess we'll have to find out. You know, the Leafs still haven't signed Mitch Marner. They only have about three million in cap space right now, but they still have Nathan Horn's five million dollar contract that they haven't put on LTIR let, uh, yet. So they still have some wiggle room. They're still allowed to spend over ten percent over the cap. So um, they they have about eleven point eight million to sign Marner and then get two million under the cap. So not 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 too bad for the Maple Leafs. They still have some time and they still have some potential trades that they can get for Cody CC. Um, until next time, I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure to share this video with your friends and family and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy guys.